Welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Today, I'm going to show you three of my favorite ways to use leftover turkey. We're going to make turkey tetrazzini, and this is a recipe from my grandmother or my meme. That's French. Um, and these are the ingredients. So, you need about two cups of chopped up turkey. So, this is just cold out of the fridge. I just chopped it up into small pieces. Some mixed cheese. This is Monterey and Colby Jack. And you need about two cups of that. A quarter cup of unsalted butter. One and a half cups of chicken stock. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. I have one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, a little bit of paprika, I have two garlic cloves that I'm going to chop up, a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, and then I like to use egg noodles and you just need one bag. This is a 12 ounce bag, but you can use whatever kind of noodles you want. So I'll show you how easy this is to put together and it's super delicious. First you want to cook your pasta in salted water. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and now we're gonna get started with the sauce. So you wanna melt your butter. Once the butter is melted, add your chopped garlic and let that saute, not brown, but you just want it to soften a little bit. While the garlic is sauteing, you wanna take your chicken broth and your cornstarch and you wanna combine these really well. This is what's gonna make your sauce thick and you wanna make sure there are no clumps. So go ahead and give that a whisk and then you're gonna pour this directly into the pan. It's funny how making a recipe can bring back so many memories. This used to be my job when I was little was whisking the sauce. And this is still one of my meme's favorite recipes to use leftover turkey. At this point in the recipe, you don't want to stop whisking. So you're going to go ahead and add your evaporated milk. And you want this mixture to cook for about 5 minutes on a little below medium heat. So give it a good whisk, make sure it's incorporated, but don't walk away too far because this will burn very quickly to the bottom of your pan. So I switched over to a wooden spoon and once the sauce coats the back of a spoon, you're ready to add your, the rest of your ingredients. So you wanna add your chopped turkey and you can add it in cold because the sauce will warm it through. You're gonna add your seasoning salt I like to use Lori's, that's my favorite, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And then I didn't show it, but I also added salt and pepper. Then you want to add your noodles. Then you just want to stir to combine. And if you wanted to add frozen vegetables, which I have done in the past, like peas, carrots, corn, that's also delicious. This is the point you would add that in. I'm using a 9 by 13 casserole dish and I'm just using vegetable oil to grease it. Dump the entire mixture in the casserole dish as my meme says, make sure you get all those last little bits out of that pan. Just take the back of your spoon and make sure that the mixture is in an even layer. Then we're gonna add our cheese, and you can use less cheese if you want, you can use more cheese if you want. Whatever floats your boat. But my kids love cheese and they loved this dinner. Sprinkle the top with paprika, and then we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. And look at what it looks like when it comes out. 
This is like cheesy, delicious goodness. We served ours with a side salad for dinner and this was absolutely delicious. Next up is a Thanksgiving sandwich. You need white bread, lightly toasted, cut up turkey, leftover stuffing, your favorite mayonnaise, cranberry sauce, salt, and my little secret ingredient is sliced apple. And this little guy had his first Thanksgiving and absolutely loved it. He's obsessed with all things food right now. I really think he thought this sandwich was for him. So I realized putting together a sandwich is super simple, but I wanted to share how I put our sandwich together. And I feel like if you're talking about leftover Thanksgiving turkey, you have to talk about a sandwich, right? So I think it's pretty important to toast your bread, then add a thin layer of mayonnaise. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite mayonnaise is. Then you wanna add a sprinkling of kosher salt, add a little bit of warmed up stuffing. You can add more if you want. Then you wanna add your warmed up, chopped up turkey. Then on the other side of your bread, add as much cranberry sauce as you want. And I know that some people don't agree with this, but I love the cheap jelly ocean spray cranberry sauce. That is my favorite. Then you wanna add your very thin slices of apple, and this just adds a really nice, crisp, fresh aspect to your sandwich. I really love it. So if you haven't tried it, give this one a shot. And I'll be honest, I love all three of these recipes for using turkey but this one is probably one that we make three or four times the week following Thanksgiving. And that is it. That is our favorite Thanksgiving sandwich. And last is my recipe for turkey soup. So for this you need chopped sweet onion, green bell pepper, two carrots peeled and chopped, salt and pepper, I got fresh bread for dinner tonight, extra virgin olive oil, poultry seasoning, my favorite a Goya adobo seasoning, and you wanna add some garlic cloves. So if you didn't use garlic with your turkey, use fresh garlic and throw it in the stock, but I'm gonna use my roasted garlic cloves with my turkey bones. And I almost forgot to show you, but you need some type of small shaped pasta. To get started, you need a large pot over medium heat. You're gonna add a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And to get started, you're gonna add in your onion. So you want the onion to sweat down a little bit and become translucent. And then you wanna add in the rest of your bell pepper and your carrots. So you don't need to worry about cooking these vegetables through. They're gonna cook plenty long enough and be super soft and tender. So you wanna give that a good stir, combine all that together. This is what your turkey is gonna sit on top of. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some seasonings. So first, this is the ingredient I use in all of my soups, and it's the Goya adobo seasoning. It has oregano, it has garlic, it has salt in it. It has such a good flavor. If you haven't tried it, I strongly recommend it. Second, we're just gonna add a little bit of poultry seasoning, just for a little added flavor. And then we're gonna add some pepper and some kosher salt. And as usual, I will have all of the ingredients and the amounts that I used in the description box below.
Now you want to add in your turkey bones. You can add your roasted garlic, anything that you used in the cooking of your turkey. And my rule of thumb is to fill up half of the pot with these ingredients. And remember, most of these ingredients are going to come out at the end and this is just going to flavor your stock. I love making soups with leftover bones because I feel like there is so much flavor that you can get out of these and just tossing them seems like such a waste. So now we're going to cover these ingredients with water and we're going to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a rolling boil, give it a good stir, turn the heat down to low, cover your pan. You want to let this simmer for two hours. After simmering for two hours, this stock has so much flavor. All I could smell was garlic and turkey and this smelled so good. So I went ahead and I just used a casserole dish to catch all the pieces and with clean tongs I just took out all of the garlic bits, I took out um, all of the pieces of turkey and all of the bones. After you get all the pieces of the turkey taken out, you want to turn your heat back to high and once your stock boils, pour half a container of small pasta or more if you want and give that a good stir. While that's cooking, we're going to shred any remaining pieces of turkey. I actually had some more turkey that I wanted to add in. This is totally a personal preference and just add that to your soup, give it a good stir. And that is it. This is one of my most favorite comfort foods. This is a real crowd pleaser and this is super freezer friendly. So even if you want to make this and you don't eat it all, throw this in your freezer and this is a super easy weeknight dinner. This soup is super delicious on its own, but if you want to add a little extra touch to it, take some grated Pecorino Romano or even Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it on top. It just adds another little depth of flavor. It is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed these three turkey recipes. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have lots of fun content coming out for Christmas and the holidays, so make sure that you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next one.